What's up, you two? Some R2 here. That's some uh, little science project set up here, man. Gonna take a look at the uh, electromagnetic current, directly, you know, the, the, the static charge in our atmosphere and, and how static electricity works. And its effects on our planet and the fact that they don't have any uh, real explanation for what effects that, that we can see here that static electricity does actually have on, on, on this planet. And they call, you know, the difference between gravity and we're going to take a look at, you know, gravity and electricity and see if we can figure it out, figure out the difference. The good buddy is here to get well present right here, man. It's pretty awesome. It's a, it's a levitating globe. But I just set it up here so we have something to look at because I ain't all that pretty. But at any rate, this, the Earth itself, is, you know, the crust of the Earth is made of... Uh, well, 90% sand, silicon, which is glass, which is a, a highly insulated material. And, and, and you know, on the, on the list of static items that'll hold a static charge, uh, you know, the rubber, glass, these things are very high on the list. In fact, a balloon, the, the surface of a balloon is, is, is you know, rubber. It, is, it, it, it acts as a good static charge or, or capacitor or whatever, it, it acts as, as it, it, it's actually close to the to the makeup of our, our crust. And when you see the amount of electricity that, you know, flashes through the clouds and the lightning, you know, you can take a look at some of this footage here. You'll see that, you know, we have massive amounts of electrical charge on our, our planet versus, you know, a balloon. But at any rate, we'll take a balloon. I got a bag up here. We'll just take one and blow it up. So y'all can see, because this, this ain't nothing trick here, no tricks or nothing here. I mean, the thing you see me doing, you can do it yourself. Ain't no, you know, prove it to yourself. Yeah, I know. Y'all yeah, can save them comments too. Look at here. You take the balloon, and now it's, it's already going to have a static charge as soon as you, you blow it up. But you know, you can rub it on your shirt, on your hair. And if you rub it on your shirt and listen to it, be quiet, you can hear it start popping and snapping. That. Yeah, those are little arcs of electricity popping between. It's like lightning in, in the atmosphere of the Earth. And even, you know, at that scale, I would say it's pretty close because, you know, you got to think a lightning bolt on the planet from way back here. It's just a very little small spark, just like it is right here on my shirt. And you rub it on your shirt till you start hearing that. And the same principle is applied here. So the, the friction is causing static electricity to build up or catching free electrons from the atmosphere, which always comes from the sun anyway. So, so, you know, I mean, what, what I'm doing on the outside, it, it, the molten inner core of the earth is doing on the inside. It's doing the same thing, same processes as this. Same friction capturing of electrons from that, you know, from, from its source, which is the sun, which is going to supply source to this balloon and this planet and me and you and everything else. Nonetheless, the static charge it's, it's a magnet, magnetism and electricity and the fact that it has an effect on anything is what's so amazing about it. It's not just metal that it attracts. In fact, we're going to see here. This, I'll, I'll show you through these things we've got set up here. You know, we've got a, a, got a piece of cereal, a paper clip, you can see that. Then we got a piece of leather strap and a piece of plastic. And this is just a little magnet. It's got a north and south pole on it. I'd be curious to watch that one. A piece of paper. And here we have a uh, piece of electrical tape. And uh, so we'll take a look at this. Watch what happens when you when you bring this too close to this piece of cereal. It's going to have an attractive force, and, and in fact, it's going to try to pull that big cereal right over to it, touches it. It doesn't matter which side 
of the balloon you use is going to stick to it. That, that, that doesn't matter what it is. We'll do it with the, uh, well, we may not even be able to do it with the paper clip because the damn cereal is going to get thick. At any rate, you can see that paper clip, it also has an effect. It'll pull it right over to it, too. Anywhere around the balloon, it doesn't repel it. And then the second one will take this piece of leather. You'll see, same effect. Doesn't matter what it is, it still attracts it. We'll go to this piece of plastic. You'll see, doesn't matter what it is. Just gonna pull it over there. Works better on some than others, but nonetheless, you see, this, this definitely has its charge to it. And it'll go with the magnet. Of course, you can see that little piece of paper back there, it's just jumping all the crazy in the back. Magnet, the paper. But that, that, I mean, there's literally there's nothing here that, that this doesn't have an effect on. And that includes the whole water. Let's take a look at this here. And you could do this on too. You'll see. That water is going to try to jump right out of that sink. Go right to that point. And I mean, you can hold the balloon down here and ground it to the sink. It's still going to attract it. Just, you know, static charge. If this, if this static charge around this balloon, as weak as it is, will bend water or attract water, make water stick to it. Do you know the electrical charge that we see around our planet with the amounts of lightning that we observe and the magnetic field that we observe is much greater on that scale than it is on this one. And to say that that, that, that water is on that planet because of an inner force rather than an outer force is hard to believe now when you, when you know as above so below. There's not a thing on this planet that's not attracted to that balloon. And that static charge, just like that of the one that's on the uh, our planet. And I'm on, I've got this one wet. Put off another one. I'll show you something else. some explanation or some sort of uh, scientific explanation for what effects this should have on our planet. And yet we, we're, we're told it's gravity. That's it. They don't, they don't have any other explanation as, as to why this happens on Earth. It, you know, the reason they give for this balloon is, is totally different than the reason they give it for that planet. 
time, but when in all actuality, as a buzz so below, to do the exact same thing. You know, you can take you can take a uh, you take a magnet. So you don't even want to leave me. You can take a magnet and in, in, in anything really. You'll see magnets, magnetism is, is much stronger than, than, than gravity as a tuning fork here. And, you know, as we're talking, the earth right now is pulling down on the, tube, you know, the fork. If I let go of it, you know, the earth's pulling down on that right now with all its, you know, with all its force and all its might. The earth's pulling as hard as it can on that, that tuning fork. Yeah, this tiny magnet here. Is strong enough to overcome the whole force of this earth. Pick that up. Overcome the gravity. Billions of times stronger than earth. Think about that. Think about that scale. Got to keep that scale in mind. The entire earth is pulling down on that. And this tiny little magnet, which is a hundred millions of times smaller, you know, smaller than, than the planet yet it has no problem with so what we're being told and what we're being learned is obviously not not the case at any rate I thought that was pretty cool man put that video out tell everybody to appreciate it man I uh, feel much better man a lot better can't, still can't believe it over here too fast but yeah, I feel this better a lot better I ain't walking my arm, ain't hurt none of that, so it's all good. Still got a thousand dollars left on the, uh, up to three thousand on the, uh, deductible. Hopefully I get the other surgery done before the end of this year. I don't like to pay the other one until next year. But at any rate, you know, whatever you all guys decide to do, just let me know. You know, we can get you all, you know, we just go with the both the deals and, you know, whatever I mean, the both want to say. We do this with it, and that's what we democratically, I guess. At any rate, peace and love, man. Big old heads up. Thanks.